Hello and welcome. This is Mr. Rag. In this video, I will be showing you how to find the total and lateral surface area of a rectangular prism. Okay, so uh, surface area. What we are doing when we find the surface area is we're just finding the area that uh, is being taken up by the surfaces of a three-dimensional figure. So how much space is on the surface of a, a three-dimensional figure? So two types of surface area. We have uh, total surface area and we have lateral surface area. So total surface area is the area on all of the surfaces of your three-dimensional figure. So what's the total surface area? It has all the includes all the faces. Lateral surface area, we're just focusing on the lateral faces. Okay, and the lateral faces are the sides that are not the base. Okay, so all of the sides that are not the base. All right. So for our lateral surface area, I see that they've shaded this three by two uh, rectangle at the bottom. So that lets me know that there really should be another, there's another base up here at the top. That's also three by two centimeters. So my lateral surface area will not include these three by two rectangles. So if I look at my net, which is just a representation of this 3D figure, I will not need this three by two uh, area here. So I won't need these two areas for my lateral surface area. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate the lateral surface area. Here we go. We have one, two, three, four rectangles. My first rectangle, and let me write the formula, rectangle, area of a rectangle, space times height. So first rectangle, three times six, that's gonna give me 18 square centimeters and I can also see that I have a I have an identical rectangle here so this other rectangle will also be 18 square centimeters and my pen is messing up a little bit there we go <clears throat> All right, so for my two smaller rectangles, uh, I see that this side right here, this length is two centimeters. And then going down this way, it has a width of six centimeters. So this would be two times six. So base times height. 2 times 6 is 12 centimeters squared. So I've got 12 centimeters squared here. And this rectangle over here is the exact same as this rectangle. So this is also 12 centimeters squared. So for my lateral surface area, I'm just going to add 18 plus 18 plus 12 plus 12 so 16 18 20 2 plus 1 is 3 4 5 6 so lateral surface area is 60 centimeters squared all right for my total surface area we're just going to include the area of my two bases okay and 
then I can see that the dimensions are three by two centimeters. <coughs> So we have 3 times 2 shown right here at the in the in the three dim three dimensional figure and it's also represented here this would be 2 and this would be a 3 right there so 3 by 2 all right and we get 6 centimeters squared and that's just for one of the rectangles so I know that I'm just gonna multiply by 2 that gives me 12 centimeters squared now I'm just gonna add the 12 centimeters squared to my lateral surface area for a total of 72 centimeters squared for my total surface area of this rectangular prism and there you go thanks for watching hope that helps